in this podcast, we're going to talk about phase change diagrams. Uh, phase change diagrams allow us to talk about differing states of matter and regards to temperature and pressure. So I'm going to move the screen just a little bit so we can see everything on this diagram. All right. So um, the first thing that you need to be aware of is that on this diagram right here we have no states of matter. So we need to first get our states of matter on the um, graph. All right. One atmosphere, okay, so pressure's on this side, and atmosphere. So one atmosphere is what we experience at sea level. So if we extrapolate all the way out to the very hottest temperatures, because down here is temperature, we know that the very hottest phase is gas. Okay, and then the next one is liquid. And then the final one is solid, the coolest. Okay, all right. Now, anytime we're talking about the normal um, <clears throat> freezing point, normal boiling point, we're talking about one atmosphere. Now, these lines between the phases, they represent phase changes. So, solid to gas, we have two different phase changes that can occur. Um, when you're going from solid to gas, that would be sublimation. And then going from back from gas to solid, that would be deposition. So, this line right here represents those phase changes. This line right here between solid and liquid represents the two phase changes between solid and liquid. So from solid to liquid, that's melting. And then from liquid to solid, that is freezing. Okay, and then we have this last line over here between liquid and gas. So going from liquid to gas, whoop, little messed up arrow there, but you know what I mean. So liquid to gas is evaporation, and then gas to liquid is condensation. So that's what this line represents. This point right here is called the critical point. Okay, the critical point is the point at which we can no longer distinguish between the phases. Okay, so things get so crazy, such high pressure, such high temperature, that there are unpredictable characteristics in the um, substance. The other important point is this one. This is called the triple point. This is a very special point. There's only one of them for each substance. Um, this is the point at which you can have all three phases existing at one time, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, so you see that it's a lower pressure than what we usually deal with <clears throat> um, in the classroom or in the regular world. So we would need some sort of apparatus to help us achieve this pressure so that we could view this triple point. All right, so if we're going to talk about the normal freezing point, normal means one atmosphere, so you want to go to the freezing line. That's between solid and liquid. Okay, so, and then to find the actual temperature, you extrapolate down to the temperature scale. So it's about 100 degrees, okay? If you needed the normal boiling point, you could do the same thing. You could just follow one atmosphere over to the boiling line and then drop down. All right, so it's like, 380 or so uh, degrees Celsius, okay? Um, other things that you can do from this line, you could have, um, say, the substance at a certain pressure and a certain temperature, maybe here, and then it tells you that something happens to the substance. Maybe the temperature increases, and then it wants you to talk about the temperatures at which phase changes occur. Well, going from solid to liquid, you know that's melting, so we would follow this point down to find out the temperature at which that phase change happened. And then the next phase change occurs when you cross the next line, so that's liquid to gas, that's evaporation, and you could follow that down to see um, at what temperature that occurs, okay? So there's a little bit of information about phase change diagrams. Hope that helps.